All right, so ladies and gentlemen, you should have actually been able to solve for A on your own. Um, we already talked about how in a rectangle, by the way, y'all know that top left shape is a rectangle? Y'all drew it and everything? So again, 9A for a rectangle, I know this has to be 90 degrees, so you need to make yourself a little equation. 9A equals 90 degrees, okay? Right? You should never have two headphones in. Right? 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 So, 9A equals 90. You set up that equation, yeah? Cool. You don't have two headphones in, do you? You don't have two headphones in, do you? That's a school policy. All right, now, dividing by 9. We have to get rid of that 9 coefficient. So, divide by 9. Divide by 9. Now, A is going to equal what? Okay, 10. Do y'all see how to do that? So, on your quadrilateral packet, you have some rectangle problems where you have angles that are labeled like this. You've got to set it equal to 90 and solve. Okay? Okay, what about a kite? Now, here's what you have to know about a kite. A kite has one pair of congruent side, uh, angles. Sorry. Again, one pair of congruent angles. So, which angles are congruent in this kite? What do you think? Okay, so it's a sideways kite. So think of it, if it was right side up, it's the left and the right ones, right? So the 121 and B are the exact same angle, okay? So again, you're looking at it sideways. These two are the same. So B is going to be 121, okay? If B had a coefficient, you would set them equal and you would solve, okay? But that's how you figure out B. Now, is everyone hearing me say this? Is everyone looking, first of all, and hearing me say this? C is not 73, okay? We don't know about these two angles uh, because this is a kite. Otherwise, you're thinking of a parallelogram. Parallelogram, opposites are always equal. But on a kite, only one pair is equal. So here's the question. How do I figure out C if I know these three <laughs> angles? So what is a four-sided figure? What does it always add up to? Okay, and if you're not sure, y'all remember this n minus 2 times 180 formula? Okay, if we plug in 4, four sides, 4 minus 2 times 180, okay, equals what? 360. So inside of a four-sided figure, every four-sided figure is 360 degrees, okay? So if I know three angles, I can add them up and subtract from the total, 360, okay? So let me make my little equation here. I got 121 plus 73 plus 121 plus C equals 360. All four angles add up to 360. And then you're going to need to combine these like terms. So 121 plus 73 plus 121 315 plus C equals 360. And then to get rid of that 315, we subtract. So C is going to be 45 degrees. Does everyone see how C and 73 are not the same? So in a kite, only one pair of angles are the same. If you're looking at it straight up and down, it's the left and right angles. Those are the same. Okay, This one's obviously sideways. Okay, now next thing. On our notes, we briefly talked about mid-segment. So let me remind you how to find mid-segment. Ready? And you do have some of these on your packet. So if you know both bases, 20 and 30, the mid-segment is just averaging them, adding both bases and dividing by 2. Okay? So can we do that? 20 plus 30, add up your bases, and then divide by 2. So 20 plus 30 is 50. 50 divided by 2 is 25. Easy. You're able to do that. Add up your two bases, divide by 2, get your mid-segment. Okay? What if 
you have a, a mid-segment problem, but you know the mid-segment is 17, and you know one base is 12. How do you figure out E? Now, in this case, you can make an equation algebraically. You can. Uh, but let me tell you another little shortcut way. If you can find the difference between these two numbers, it's going to be the same difference between these two numbers. So what's the difference between 17 and 12? 17 minus 12 is 5. So basically, to get from 12 to 17, they added 5. So to get from 17 to the other base, they're going to also add 5. Okay? 17 plus 5 gives me 22. Okay? You do have one of those on your quadrilateral packet, so if you know the mid-segment, find this difference, repeat that same difference to get the other base. Okay? Now, if you read the board, you know uh, tomorrow we're going to have a quiz on this quadrilateral stuff, so you want to finish that packet for sure. Um, there is a review next to the turn-in bin with the answers on the wall. There's a YouTube video on the channel of me going through the whole thing. If you really want to make sure you finish the packet, work on the review. Okay, turn in that review tomorrow when we take the quiz, and we'll go over your last quiz tomorrow too as well. So. We'll have some time to retake stuff if we need to. All right, so does everyone understand what we're doing today? Quadrilateral packet, review for quadrilateral quiz tomorrow, and then Friday's early release, right? So if you're interested in that, here's the schedule ahead of time. Happy Valentine's Day ahead of time. All right.